Hey everyone, so I'm gonna test two cheap amplifier boards from eBay. One is using the PAM8403 Class D amplifier I see, and the other is using the 8002 Class AB. And I already measured uh, the power input uh, with these, on these boards, and also I measured them with an oscilloscope. So I'm comparing these amplifiers because uh, they both can be powered by 5 volts or even lower. So uh, they are uh, very suitable for portable speakers. So I'm gonna play the same song on uh, both of these amplifiers with the same setup, the speakers and also the uh, shitty microphone on the camera. So uh, to see the difference. And uh, I'm gonna play a song called uh, Changeling uh, from The Doors because it has some nice beats, some bass, but also it has keyboard, guitar, vocals, pretty much everything. So I think it's a nice, nice song for comparison. And this is obviously purely subjective, but yeah, let's let's try it anyways. I'm especially curious about the 8002 amplifier. Because when I was measuring it with, with an oscilloscope, the amplification was was dropping quite a bit at lower frequencies. So with frequencies under 400, maybe 350 hertz, uh, the amplification dropped a lot. So I don't expect that amplifier to handle the bass quite as well as the Class D amplifier. But well, let's see. So let's get started. Okay, so let's start with the 8002 amplifier board. So I'm gonna use my phone and uh, the equalizer is set on flat, which it will be set on flat uh, with both of the amplifiers, obviously. So let's start. So this was the class AB amplifier. As I suspected, the bass wasn't there much, and so I'm gonna try to uh, mess around with the equalizer a bit and see if I can make it sound better. was much better now. Uh, so let's let's go to the class D amplifier. So the class D amplifier will be more powerful but uh, so the comparison is fair. I set the volume to about the same and then later on I'm gonna increase the volume some more and also I'm gonna of course start with uh, flat uh, equal equalizer. So let's get started. There's definitely more bass with uh, flat setting.
now let's try to turn the volume uh, as high as it can get. And now, now let's try with uh, equalizer with uh, some enhanced bass, the same setting as I used uh, for the AB amplifier. So in the end I have to give a slight edge to the 8002 class AB amplifier board. The digital amplifier is a bit more efficient, it can get uh, a bit more louder, but not by much and uh, if you try to turn the volume all the way up uh, with a forum speakers, so the amplifier is, will start to cut out. So for forum speakers I don't see any advantage uh, with the volume and also the class D amplifier had a little bit better bass with a flat equalizer settings but but that can be fixed uh, quite reliably with with just some equalizer settings just to uh, add some bass and uh, when I tried to add some bass to the class AB amplifier it sounded just fine but when I tried to add uh, more bass to the class D amplifier it started to cut out even at lower volumes. So the class D amplifier board uh, would be a lot better for 8 ohm speakers I think than, than 4 ohms because it, it can deliver more power but uh, for 4 ohm speakers the class AB I think sounded a little bit better with some equalizer settings. The class D amplifier board was about 3 times cheaper but uh, they are they were both really cheap so when you are buying just a few of them I don't think uh, the price really matters it's just the performance and of course this test was purely subjective so all in all I don't think either of these uh, amplifier boards really disappointed it's really just a slight edge to the class AB1 so both of these amplifiers will, will drive uh, small speakers just fine so yeah that, that's about uh, all I have to say and bye